I recently released a video talking about the firmware update that was pushed out by Rode that allows you to connect wirelessly the Rode Wireless Go 2s to the Rodecaster Pro 2. And since then, I've received a bunch of comments and questions on whether or not you can connect other brand mics like these ZGI wireless mics to the Rodecaster Pro 2. Well, what if I told you that you absolutely can do it and the solution is so simple and it'll cost you under $15? In this video, I am here to show you exactly how you can connect other wireless microphones to your Rodecaster Pro 2 with a simple solution. Let's get straight into it. If you're only gonna be using one mic, then you can use the TRS cable that came with your wireless mic set, like this one here, and you're gonna connect it to the 1 8 to quarter inch adapter. If you're gonna be using both microphones, then that's when you'll need to get the splitter cable. And that's because you're gonna to wanna to be able to control the gain and the volume of each microphone independently. So once you have your cable and your adapter chosen, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the receiver to the cable on the 1 8 inch side, and then you're gonna take the quarter inch jack side, and you're gonna connect it to the combo jack of the Rodecaster Pro in the back. I'm using inputs number three and four for the third and fourth mic. And what that's going to allow for me to do is that I can connect and control the left mic with one fader and I can control the right microphone with the fader right next to it. You'll have to go into the microphone settings in the Rodecaster Pro and just make sure that you are selecting the line input. So you'll go in for the first mic, you'll scroll all the way to the left you'll select line in, and then you'll have to increase the decibels, the gain, using the rotary knob or using the plus or minus buttons. And just make sure that you are adjusting it for your voice, that you can see the green meters going in between those two green brackets there. You're gonna go back and do the same thing for the second mic. You can see I selected it for mic number four, scrolling to the left, choosing line input, increasing the gain to about 30, 35. That's what's usually good for my voice. And now we can continue the setup there. This setting is gonna be ideal when you are using two mics, when you have two people talking like in this setup that I did here. Now that we've gotten the microphones receiver connected directly to the Rodecaster Pro 2, we have to change the settings on the mic receiver to go from mono to stereo. At least that's what it's been with the DJI wireless mics. If you leave it in mono, you won't get any signal input on the Rodecaster Pro 2. So let me show you how to do that. You're gonna take the DJI receiver and you're gonna swipe down from the top. And then you're gonna see the very first option is either S or M, depending on what you're going to do. You'll click on the letter there and then you can just keep pressing the letter until you get to the stereo input. Now that we've gone ahead and connected the DJI wireless receiver over to the Rodecaster Pro, you can see I have mine now currently connected. I have one microphone out of the case right now, and that's why you are only seeing one meter. If we go ahead and we take out the other mic, check this out. Here's the other mic over here. And now you can see that the levels on this DJI wireless mic, now it's split into two different signals and both of the microphones are sending audio to that receiver. Let's switch from the Shure SM7B over to the DJI wireless mic. And now you're listening to the audio on the DJI wireless mic. You're listening to it on level three, um, on input number three. You can see the confirmation here on my Rodecaster Pro. If we go into these input settings, you can see I have it at level 35. If I lower the gain, that's gonna lower obviously the microphone volume that you're hearing out as, as I increase the gain. Now that's gonna do the same thing. That's going to increase my mic input that you hear. The audio processing is in fact turned on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the audio processing off. One of the things that you may be able to notice instantly is that the noise floor as I stay quiet is definitely audible when you don't take advantage of the audio processing features. So let me stay quiet and then I'm gonna turn the noise, the audio processing on and you're gonna be able to hear that difference.
you should have been able to hear a significant difference that when we did not have the audio processing turned on, once that went into effect, that lowered that noise floor significantly. And you should also be able to hear a difference in my voice as well. So you do have the that amazing features and all of the amazing audio f processing available on the Rodecaster Pro. You can see also that the fader right over here, the fader is currently at Unity. We can get the confirmation here. And then the same thing, we can control our volume of our microphone just by sliding this fader down. And as I start to slide the fader down, you can see right over here that it is lower and the microphone volume went lower. And so as I start to bring this back up to Unity, you can hear my microphone volume coming back up. If I unmute the other DJI mic, that's number four. So now the DJI mic number four is now on. And so if we take a look at the levels, right, because I do have the number four further away, you can see that number four, because it's not close to my mouth, is not as high over here versus number three, which is right at my mouth. And as I bring number four up, right, you can see the difference now where as I start to talk into number four, so it is two separate audio levels. So if I wanted to go ahead and lower the volume on number three, you can see now that number three is lower, but there is still some sound coming in there. And now we are just talking and what you're mainly hearing is the audio coming into number four. Everything else is the same with your audio processing, your gain and stuff like that. But this is a fantastic, feature to have when you are having those two microphone inputs with two different people and one may talk softer than the other person and you need to be able to have that granular control over the independent microphone levels. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is that you can absolutely connect a lav mic to your DJI wireless mic. So you can see I do have a lav mic clipped up to my shirt. You are listening to the audio on this lav mic. You can see that it is connected to the DJI wireless mic. And so you can take advantage of all of those features and really have a great wireless setup without being tethered, without having a microphone in the shot and still be able to take advantage of all of the amazing Rodecaster Pro audio processing features with this setup. If you found this useful, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe, leave me some comments. Let me know what the wireless mic setup that you're using with the Rodecaster Pro, if you found this helpful, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, peace out.